Hey guys, let's talk about the biggest upgrade that I did right now with this printer and that is E3D V6 hot end. I mean this is a really upgrade now. You're gonna get much more speed, much more quality, easy to change filament, much less weight and of course the quality is outstanding. This cube that I print is uh, 0 0.2, not even 0 0.1 and look at this, I mean this is outstanding outstanding result after this upgrade so why did i did this first thing was i noticed that on both sides on at the end you know my uh, my extruder was a little bit tight you know on both sides and i say okay you know maybe this was not you know uh, in a perfect you know tolerance and then i print those and it was the same and i say okay and then i realized that this that metal holder that was Holding, you know, like a, you know, old uh, hot end was not really, really, you know, uh, drilled like it should be. You know, it was some tolerance, zero point something, but it's it, it's enough to, you know, to uh, to stack on both sides. So it it was still working nicely here, but when it come to this side, then it be, it was a little bit stuck. And I say, what the hell? Why is this happening? Then I realize what it is, and I say, okay, I'm gonna change the the whole, you know, X uh, carriage. And I say, okay, if I'm gonna, you know, print the new X carriage, then I'm gonna change the nozzle as well. Then I do some research, and then I realize that this is the way to go. And I say, okay, let's give it a shot. And really, honestly, that is the biggest upgrade ever. And I'm really satisfied with now. You know, you're gonna get much more speed, much more, you know, accuracy prints. Uh, no, uh, no wobbling whatsoever. If you if you put too much, this thing weights like nothing. This can move. You. I mean, move this much faster. It's easy to change the filament, you only push this button and you just take this, this tube out. You press this button and then you just take out the filament, put a new one. And with that means, that means through the, you know, Cura, there is uh, some plug-in option, it calls um, pause at height or something like that. You can, you can pause, print and continue and pause it again a couple of times and that gives you opportunity to print multicolor uh, print. So that's nice options, and with the changing, uh, you know, uh, easy changing filament, that can really happen. So I'm looking forward to try that as well. So far, uh, as I said, I print this cube, phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal results. Uh, much more, much more speed, stable. You save your rods, you save your bearings, and obviously it's compa it's compatible with uh, with uh, you know previous up chain upgrade. So pretty much all thing is the same, you have to print a couple of stuff. As well you have to change a couple of codes into the software because you know a uh, printer doesn't know where, where your nozzle is. Before the nozzle was, if I re remember correctly, was around this side and that was, uh, that was not, that's not the same which is now. So we have to change a couple of codes to make this to make this know where your nozzle is. Because you're gonna, because you're gonna end up hitting on the side or going out of the bed. You know of some prints if you print something too large <clears throat> so I changed the code as well and what has happened with this part is when I print this uh, filament holder my cat jump on, uh, on this I messed my print and that was this part and then I made some change into the G code and I continue on the same place and I continue to print the next thing happens my computer go to the standby mode and my printer was shut down as well so this part is print by stopping two times in the middle of the print and I managed to call you can see it right there there is a there is a cut in uh, the cut in the part and I can show you how you can change those, those code as well and continue to print where you left the next is I almost finish my uh, cover for the motherboard it's not finished because I'm still waiting for the cable you know extruder um, external cable for my micro SD but I get my USB which is now 90 degree USB and now you can print you can uh, connect it with your motherboard so that's pretty nice when I get my my cable I'm gonna close this thing and it's done next is I finally get my switch yeah after one month or something but anyway Thanks for the switch. There is a small fuse inside as well, and this is how they look right now. 
so you can switch on and switch off your printer. That's a very nice feature. The next is uh, this filament holder that I print. As you can see, you know, before I've been feeding my uh, my my extruder with my hot end from you know from uh, up till down, but then I realized this this system is much better. But now been now it's been fed to the side, so I have to you know like I rethink how I'm gonna make this holder, or I'm gonna keep this way you know save my my filament you know this that I don't use so often, and then really change my colors you know not being stocking under the computer. So we'll see. So good. One more thing is why did I print this part? This is a good part to print. This is a good uh, thing to do. Why? Because soon I'm gonna you know start uh, printing in ABS. So this will help you know to intake the little bit colder you know uh, air than right there directly from the hot end. So this is working like cold intake you know a little bit. The one thing that I noticed is about the heating. It's obviously you're gonna have like a heat loss right here. So I order some sheets, some uh, cotton sheets to 900 degrees. So I, I, I'm gonna install definitely. Uh, they came like a three millimeter or something. So uh, I'm gonna put the link in the, in the description as well. And those sheets, if you put underneath, you, that's gonna be like an insulation material and your bed will be much higher and much faster to heat up. And with my uh, module that I install, you know, for the heating bank, that's not going to be the problem. So I'm soon, like I said, I'm going to start printing ABS, and I want to, you know, this to be prepared. As well, I changed the belts. Now there is a fiber core inside, much softer, much stronger belt. Very nice. Some closer look. This uh, fiber core uh, belt. This is how they look. Okay. nice belts I will put the, the video in the description as well alright guys thanks for watching this video I hope you like these upgrades if you like it thumbs up and I wish you good luck with your printing if I can help you with something leave the comments and take care bye bye